Fucking keys to Detroit hip hop, fuck. Huh? I'm just trying to put my people on. You know. Bro, this nigga kid, it was the dirtiest, lamest, bitch ass nigga I ever seen, bro. I hate this nigga. You just be seem like you playing with the culture or something, man. I hate that nigga, bro. I hate him, bro. Seriously, I hate him. Hey, Yo, it's your boy, Kid Al, man. It's episode 57 of the Fuck You Talking About podcast. I appreciate y'all for continuing to tune in and everybody that's continuing to submit music to keep this show running in the first place. As I always say, please leave feedback in the comments for the artist. If you're watching this, it's not just about my feedback. It's about the audience's feedback as well. First track of the night is E-Baby, Marky Rich, I Swear Vezo, and the track's called No Apologies Remix. He's the first time I've had a... Uh, uh, what's his name on here? Ice Rivezo. Trail on the keys. <laughs> Test. What up, EJ? What up, EJ? Real demons. Make us know. Then I ain't fucking playing. Fuck it, please. Please watch. What the fuck you what saying? Real fuck killers. Say? Gonna kill you. Where the fuck you land? I have a nigga here sleeping. Where the fuck you No apologies. I don't give a fuck if a nigga never acknowledge me. I don't give a fuck if a nigga ain't really proud of me. Tell them bitch ass nigga to stay. Then I ain't fucking playing street nigga. Please watch what the fuck you saying. Real killers gon' kill you. Where the fuck you land? I have a nigga here sleeping where you fucking stand. Real money, I put it on your fucking hand. Twin glocks, bullet stocks. Now you fucking dead. Hellcat, no traction. Now he fucking fled. Tell your bitch house and when she see me, we just fucking stay. I'm that nigga, baby. Don't forget it, baby. <laughs> just don't tell me, baby. Get the tripping crazy. Okay, yeah, niggas changing up. All you niggas lame as fuck. All my niggas. Hey, you hang yeah. it up. We gon' beat your fucking ass and we gon' try to flame you up. If a nigga hear about it, we gon' say you ain't been touched. If a nigga hear about it, we gon' say it wasn't us. No apologies. I don't give a fuck if hey, a nigga never yeah. acknowledge me. Right. I don't hey, give a fuck hey, if a hey, nigga ain't hey. really proud of me. Tell, tell them bitch ass nigga to stay around for me. And tell them niggas I don't need no fucking apology. Yeah. Tell them niggas no apology. Hey, Z. These hoe niggas, cause they stay hatin'. First they fuck with you, then they don't. These niggas stay changing. Okay. Get locked up in that seal, these niggas ain't gon' JPay. pay. I tell my niggas I love them every day, nigga. It'll stay dangerous. Cause niggas lurking, city for the murder. Get that biggie on you. I know I keep mines catch what these pussy niggas thinking on you. We gon' slide down your block, nigga, and leave you on you. Seem like the only ones that switch the ones I told I love you. I got family that turned on me, but I still love them. But I just keep my distance from them, cause it's still fuck em. First nigga in my hood with a coupe that got 200. Hey, yo, with the shield catcher, how your crew running? Okay, I see you. Uh, man. Bad stuff. 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 Bad stuff.
what can I really say? When I love a song, when I like a song, there's not much I can really say about it besides it was very solid. If this is really the first track you've ever released, it's a solid first track. Marky, you killed it. Uh, the rhyme scheme was kind of interesting. It threw me off a little bit, but as soon as I understood what you were doing, it was sweet. And then, of course, Vezo's going to do his thing. So, very solid track. Go check out E-Baby. Next track of the night is Cheapskate, Sk <laughs> Cheapskate Scuttle, Aw Shit is the song. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I like these visuals for some reason. Oh shit. Bitch. Oh shit. Bitch. Oh shit. Bitch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on, man. Where are we going with this? Are we? Keep listening to that shit. Oh shit, man! Come on, man. This, yeah, I know what you're trying to do. I know the style is coming up now. It's emerging. The kind of whisper talk, kind of keeping it low key. You know, it. You just didn't do it the right way, bro. Uh, it's, I feel like you're trying to take the easy route by doing the style, and you're just not hitting it. I mean, the all shit part was cool. It ran on way too long. I would use that for something. Maybe sell to somebody. I don't know, or or, or refigure it out. But. Again, there's no entertainment value for here. And again, the execution on this style of music uh, is not up to par with other people already doing it. There's already people doing this style. They're executing it very well. And that, that's who I'm going to go listen to when I want to listen to the style. So keep that in mind. Uh, and if, I don't know what advice to really give you besides either really fucking start doing better at executing that or, uh, or move on to a different style. And go get a better mix and master too because if you had... You mix and master a little bit better. The song would have sounded a little bit better. It sounded like you were too under the beat. You got to work on all that shit. Everything, everything as an artist, man, is about the whole structure. It's not just about one little thing about rhyming or your flow. It's literally about the the way the songs mix and master, tonality, execution, confidence, how loud you're into the mic. You know, it's it's a lot of shit going on, man. Next track is uh, R Y N featuring Babyface Ray and Stewie, shot by Cardiac Films. I don't know, 
song for sure like this is definitely a vibe song this is one of those songs that everybody's in the mode and you're at the party or whatever or you're, you're in your feelings type shit um man i'm just not a fan i'm sorry bro i'm really not a fan of the song I, it's just too i guess if i'm in the right zone like i said i listen to it it's not it's not a bad song it's just i really just felt like there was so much emptiness at the end of the day, the song doesn't keep me entertained. It doesn't keep me, like, wanting more. You know, I always say it's like a fishing game. Once you get somebody on the hook, you can reel them. But I never felt like I was hooked. I never felt like I wanted to stay on the line. Uh, you know, props to Stewie and Babyface Ray. Like, I could tell, the you know, you guys kind of were the backbone there. Stewie with you in the back vocals. Baby Ray with that uh, end verse there. I could tell that was heat. Uh, but, again, the song just didn't keep my attention, man. I don't know what it is. I feel like it was... It was not enough thought put in the song and too much thought put in the song. You know what I'm saying? Not every time you put together a group of uh, talented artists are you going to come out with a great product. Now, listen, the, the video has 138,000 views. So I could, like, everybody's probably telling me, like, shut the fuck up. That was heat. I just didn't see it. I, I felt like you tried to be theatrical with the music video to tie it in with the music and the beat, but that did not work for me at all. That beat did not keep me entertained. So all around from the beat to the verses to the chorus, it just didn't keep me entertained. The only thing I really liked was Stewie's voice in the background, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, that's just that's just over time. You're gonna learn how to make songs that really keep people entertained. Again, this song has over a hundred thousand views, so I'm probably a fucking idiot, but I'm just telling you. Next track is uh my boy. Okay, so everybody listen, man. Everybody's always like, oh yeah, man, you uh you feel me? You know, you, you don't talk shit about your boys' music. First of all, yes, I do. I've talked shit about my boys' music a plenty of times, and it's got me in a lot of trouble with my friends because I'm putting them on blast. But this guy, I literally kind of grew up with a little bit because we used to work together like crazy. We used to make skits together. We used to be a part of shit all the time. My boy Denver. We used to have little skit groups and for years and just all the types of shit. So we're gonna listen to him and see how he does here. This track's called No Games by Denver J. Now our friend has got security up the ass. The heat is gonna come down hard on my partners and me. There's not gonna be a next time, you fucking dumb. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Take, take it easy when you talk to me, okay? Take it easy when you talk to me. I ain't no you What's up, fucking little monkey not to fuck me. Hey, hey, who the fuck do you think you're talking to, huh? You wanna fuck me? Who the fuck do you think Alright, man, we got the fucking point. It's Scarface, bitch. We know. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. That's copyright infringement, first of all. Second of all, uh, we know the scene. We don't need to hear the whole thing, bro. You come on, man. Don't be. props for you know trying this new style out i've never heard you sing like this before and use the auto tune on full crank yet <laughs> but uh ah, 
not. I don't know, man. Come on, man. Come on. First of all, the first 45 seconds wasn't even you. It was Scarface and a nice beat. The beat's dope. Uh, the, 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 it's too easy. What you're doing is too easy, man. Like I said, there's people. It's not. Listen, it doesn't sound bad. It's not like I listen to like, what the fuck? But it's just you got to realize it's too easy, man. Like anybody can max out auto-tune like this and kind of sing and rhyme lyrics. And a lot of the shit, a lot of your punchlines weren't even crazy. They really weren't crazy at all. They were very basic. They were very easy. I seen them coming from a mile away. I knew exactly what you were going to rhyme what with what. It didn't really surprise me. Uh, the song didn't keep me really entertained. The beat is really what held the whole structure of the song together. The beat can pretty much saves the day. Uh, what I would do, Denver, if I was you, man, it's hard to say, bro, because it's like you've been rapping for like 10 years, G. No cap, G. You've been rapping for like 10 years, my baby boy. And I know you personally. Like, we, I fuck with you, bro, in, in real life. I know you in person. I've known you since we were fucking kids, bro. So it's like, damn, G. Is it time to hang up the sneakers? I don't know. Um, I'm not telling you to hang up the sneakers. But what I am telling you is that I think what you're trying to do is figure out. You're trying to figure out a way to kind of be accepted or you're trying to find a way to like just make people listen, but you're not really like coming from the heart with what you're doing too much. It's <sighs> sometimes, man, dreams need to die, my boy. <laughs> no, I'm playing on Kevin. I don't know, man. You've been rapping for a goddamn long time, boy. That's all I can really tell you, man. You need to figure something out. You need to figure out a way to keep people entertained with your music. You need to like stop being so simple with your lyrics. Your lyrics are way too simple, bro. They're way too easy to read. Like. There's no anticipation with what the fuck you're going to say. So that's one huge thing. Second of all, you auto-tune the whole song. Like, you're not even an auto-tune artist and you're not a singer. So it's like, come on, man. You can't be relying on auto-tune. Everybody, anybody can do that. So put it this way. You're doing what anybody can do. So stop doing what anybody can do. Try to find a new venue or a new avenue. Because, bitch, 10 years. Bitch, you've been rapping for 10 years, bro. You've been rapping for 10 years. Man, 12 years, bitch. I've known you since so long, bro. You've been rapping forever, bro. When is it going to change? When are you going to start being lit with this shit? When are you going to start, like, dominating the game? When are you going to start, like, separating yourself from everybody else? How is it still to this point where you're still doing the same shit everybody else is doing, man? Come on, Jack. Next track is uh, Check Runner Chino. The track's called Percolations 30. Okay. Y'all come up with the craziest names for your music, man. Come on. Niggas leaning like a motherfucker out these thirties, man. Chino. Ah. Uh. Come on, man. And where the fucking thirties at, man? Yeah. Thirties, thirties, yeah, thirties, thirties. Where the perkies, where the blues, tryna get harder than you. Finna leave the gas alone, the perkies get me through. Used to be scared of the fit, now I'm asking for the blues. Get them for 15, and I bust them for the 40. Take them by the hands, I ain't tryna fucking OD. Blues, yeah, blues, yeah. I don't want no tabs, 5, 7, 5, 10, I want the 30s. No cap, me 400 off a 10, put it down 150. My nigga swerving little lane, purse kicking in. Swear I'm playing with my life, but I'm focused on the blues. Gotta get it in, no time to sleep, can't fuck it's news. Pop a 30, hit the road, lean back and set the cruise. Swerving past the troopers, damn, I gotta keep it smooth. If I don't make it back, they gon' be mad. Where the fucking blues? Where they at? 30s, 30s, yeah, 30s. What's happening? What's going on? What's happening? What the fuck is going on, bro? Tell me, please, what's going on, man? What's happening? Do you even think when you rap, bro? Do you, does your brain process data? Like, come on. Listen, you're not saying anything. If we listen to the song again, you literally didn't say one thing. You just talked about perks. Okay? Everybody's talking about perks now, man. I Like, fine, whatever, man. But damn, bro. Like, what the fuck are you even talking about? You're not even saying anything. Literally, there was not one line that you said that made, like, actual sense. Like, literally, there wasn't one line that you said that was had me to think, bro. Or even to make me vibe or make me feel any type. Come on, what are you thinking about, bro? What is, what's going on, man? No, I want to talk to your mom and dad. No, man, listen, bro, I'm tired of this shit. I want to talk to your mom and dad about your music career and see what they think about it. Because your mom and dad are going to be more honest than me. They're probably going to be like, listen, you need to figure it out or stop this shit right now. So that's the best advice I can give you, man. You need to... Make sense of your lyrics. Make sense of what the fuck you're saying, bro. You can't just go around rhyming words that have no fucking meaning to them whatsoever. 
and they have no creativity on whatsoever. So work on that. Work on actually thinking about lyrics, bro. Like, yeah, bro, rhyming is one part of it, but actually having lyrics that make sense is a whole, that's what ties everything together. The lyrics that make sense ties everything together. So make sense of your fucking lyrics, man. Stop trying to just do what everybody else is doing, bro. Stop thinking, oh, everybody's talking about perks. I'm going to talk about perks, man. Y'all see me popping perks? Does I look like I pop perks? I don't, I don't pop perks, man. Just to let you know, I do not pop perks. But I'm just trying to tell you, everybody's rapping about popping perks. I mean, 90% of y'all don't even pop perks, man. I'm sick about it, bro. Y'all think there's perks in this backpack? But I'd make a better song about perks than you do because I would have substance to it, man. I'm just, talk, oh, I'm just talking about perks the whole time. Gee, everybody's going to go crazy about that. No, they're not, man. Next track is Young Suave. The track's called On Time. Okay. Okay. Hey. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot take, hot take, hot take. I just pour me a some red. All of my niggas be going to the top. I don't care what these niggas they say. Yeah, these niggas they still in my swag. But can't put it on and she dead. I hop up the coop and I drag. We burning our rubber and bread. Yeah, we stay popping on the tags. Got Louis V all on my head. My brothers they carry his flag. But stay out the way of the beds. I can just give them the drop. And that's all that need to be said. Y'all niggas hang with the ops. These niggas fucked up in the head. They all turn around just watching. Wrist on froze, never stopping. Yeah, see if y'all like, then I'm copping. About to take off like a rocket. Yeah, found me a plug with a socket. All this money coming out my pocket. Can't trust a bitch, she ain't got it. Ten bands don't need a wallet. Whoa, drip too hard, big stylist. Beat up the pussy, left mileage. Yeah, smoking on once, I'll be silent. I got that bitch, she the finest. Whoa, she gonna kill you with kindness. Shoot with the 40, you diamonds. Ayy, Willie my wrist is so timeless. Baghettis, I only see diamonds. Yeah, watch my back, come and find me. Dripping, I cause a tsunami. Yeah, if you not nigga from around me. You not a thug, you in county, yeah No sure we're killers with bounties yeah. Take off your head for some brownies Why we studio junkie, we zombies uh, Up for the purple, we go zombie Yeah, up for the purple, we go zombie uh, Baby, I need you around Okay, I would've switched it up at that point That was too much repetitive of the same flow But I will say, Suave, this was actually pretty legit Like, you executed the style very well It was enjoyable to listen to I really love your performance on camera I, I like your energy I like tonality I like the confidence uh, You know, the energy's there uh, you know, the flow was a good flow. I would just suggest switching it up and just changing up the song a little bit because not nobody wants to listen to the same exact flow, especially when it's that intricate of a flow where you're kind of hitting those 16s on it. So you want to kind of switch that up a little bit here and there. You know, my favorite drummer's name is Carter Buford, and uh, he's from the Dave Matthews Band, and he always would talk about how, you know, the reason he separated himself from everybody else is because when you were playing that beat, you know, you're playing a sweet-ass beat, but then he would add a little lick. Or he would slow it down randomly. Like you'd do something to switch it up. Like you wouldn't. He'd always keep you entertained and engaged, uh, while still maintaining, still maintaining the same aura of the song. You know, you're not switching it totally. Where it's like that was a drastic change, but it's just enough that keeps me engaged, listening, and at the same time entertained. Which is all the same thing. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Next track is Niz da Na, uh, Niz da Don, and the track's called Universal Rocket Ship. Why do I have a feeling this is gonna be heat? To my haters, to my haters. I see you later. I see you smoking later. on gas. I'm the operator. I'm the operator. Gone, 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 too gone, too gone. What's in the zone? And I'm zone. like a Martian, yeah. I'm about to fall home. And I hope you don't like my cone wrong. She gon' roll my weed. And she don't even smoke. She got double D's. And she gon' let me stroll. I put her out on freeze. She might need a coke. I'm triple low three. When I'm out on coke. Baby trippin' Aquafina, how she slide down the pole. I'ma keep on blowing gas. Morales got me moving slow. I ain't in a shot. And I'm counting money. Fingers cold. Let it lay on Oh man, what the fuck is this shit, man? Come on, Jack. Are you serious with this shit? Are you thinking straight when you make this song? When you go into the studio and you waste your money? Sp paying the producer? Paying the video? What are you thinking about when you do this shit, bro? You are not thinking. That's the problem. You, you are not letting any thought come through your mind of what you're doing here, man. You are just going inside of a studio and recording for no fucking reason, bro. You are not putting any thought into this shit, Jack. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, man. Shut the fuck. Come on, man. What's going on with y'all? Just going high as fuck. You don't even think about what the fuck you're talking about, and then you want to go crazy on a track uh, with all these different flows and shit, trying to be unique and trying to be different and trying to separate yourself. Listen, man. The more you try to stick out, the more you will stick out. You know what I'm saying? The less you try to stick out, the more you're within yourself, the more you're paying attention to actually what matters to you and what's important to you and shit like that, the more people will notice it. But they're not gonna. Yeah, I know what you're trying to do. It just bothers me. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up, man. Just shut the fuck up. Man, I'm sick about it, bro. Like, I feel like people, I feel like the entertainment industry, there is like, you know, 99.9% .9 of it is people, you know, they don't really give a fuck about this shit, bro. They just, they're just, they, they think it's something they want to do and then they go fuck with it and then, you know, nothing comes about it. And then there's that like 0.9% that's like actually trying you know, the ones that are, like, really, really trying, and they're, like, they want to learn, and they want to get better, and they want to do better, and there's that 0.1% that's just super extremely talented, maybe even less than 0.1% that's super extremely talented, that, uh, you know, they, 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 they just, over time, they figured it out, that, that 0.9% is trying to get to that 0.1%, it's just, it's all about time for them, it's a time factor of, you know, I gotta grind and grind and grind until I really figure out my flow and, and, and my style and all that shit, you aren't and any of that percentages, bitch. You are not even on the the ninety nine point nine percent of the motherfuckers fucking it up. You are like not even on the scale to me. I think you were just a person who literally was like, I want to do some weird ass shit on the microphone. That's not what music is about, bro. I wish I could go do some weird ass shit, man. Fuck is you talking about? You think I don't want to rip my shirt off and my pants off and just jump on this table butt naked in front of these lights and go crazy? I want to do that every day of the week, but I don't do it because it doesn't make sense. Just like this song, it does not make sense, bro. There's no reason or purpose for it. Uh, you didn't think about anything when you made the song. You didn't think it through. You just wanted to again get on. See, stop fucking the game up, man. Y'all are fucking the game up, bro. Okay, so listen. Let's just say you are serious about being an artist. And here's what I'll tell you. Stop trying to do this weird shit, bro. Like, if you're going to do this weird shit, spend more time being weird. Just spend more time on it. Don't, don't, don't just put out some random bullshit, you acting weird, and, and trying to be stylish and, 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 and whatever the fuck you want to call it. Like, having that style of just being weird and shit. Like, alien-esque type shit. Like, come on, man. Spend more time on it if you're going to fucking do it, bro. Look at Tyler, the creator. Go spend time watching how he did it. He did the weird-ass shit, the weird-ass vibes, but it's fucking sweet because he does it the way... He spent time mastering it he spent time really progressing and really and really being intricate with it and paying attention to it and treating it like it was a baby you didn't do that bro well Al, i'm still learning i'm still new to the game i don't give a fuck bro that's how you're gonna learn by somebody telling you straight up man like stop fucking around bro like pay attention to what the fuck you're putting on there that's the end of episode 57 appreciate y'all for continuing to tune in tag anybody that should be on the next episode like i said man uh you know whatever artist you feel like killed it tonight or didn't kill it or why they fucked it up whatever if you disagree with me drop it in the comments y'all already know what time it is i'll see you on episode 58 next week folks